Hi guys, so I'm back. It's been a while since I've done some video blogging um, and I decided it's about time to get started again. So here we are. Uh, last video I did was for my competition prep and that ended, my show was in June. Um, so my vlogging ended right about there. I tried to continue doing some. I think I did some into maybe August or so and um, then just kind of got busy with school and other things and it kind of just fell off the bandwagon and now I'm ready to get started. So here we are. Um, I'm just going to kind of do like an intro and I'm just going to be looking down at my computer screen here so that I make sure that I go over everything that I wanted to talk about. So like I said, just going to go over a little bit of introduction because I didn't really do that in my previous video blogs. Um, if you watched my competition prep vlogs that I did. Um, I did an intro for that, but it wasn't anything like official. I didn't really talk much about me. Um, I just kind of talked about why I wanted to do the prep vlog, essentially. So just about a little bit about myself, um, for those of you that don't know a ton about me. Um, I currently live in um, Egan, Minnesota. I grew up in the Twin Cities. Um, I've lived in the Twin Cities most of my life, graduated from Chaska High School. So went to Moorhead State. I got my bachelor's degree in exercise science there. I also um, was a collegiate athlete. I played softball, fast pitch in high school and in college. Um, sorry, the dog just stepped on the computer screen and I was like typing a bunch of random stuff and highlighting a bunch of everything. Um, there she is. She's my little companion. Um, she has been in a lot of my other videos. Zoe! <gasps> She's been in a lot of my other videos, and you'll probably see a lot more of her. Um, that cute little face. So ugly, it's cute. Um, so like I was saying, um, I played softball in high school and college, so I was always into sports. I played softball all my life. Um, so I was always into sports, athletic, uh, things like that. Um, I really started getting into like fitness and training, I guess, and training meaning like performance training um, when I was a junior in college, I would say. That's when I really got serious about it and I was like, hey, you know what? I If I work my butt off in the gym, um, I can be a better softball player essentially um, and, and just be a better overall athlete. I wish I had figured that out my freshman year, but better late than never. So... I, I figured um, the harder I worked in the gym and outside of practice, the better I would be, and that was definitely the case. Um, so I would say probably my senior year of college was the best shape that I was in throughout my whole softball career. Um, and after I graduated from college, I kind of was like, okay, what do I want to do with my life? And I decided I want to be a trainer. And it kind of stems from the show The Biggest Loser. Um, that show's getting a lot of flack these days because so many of the winners are almost too thin according to some social media standards. Um, I'm not going to say my opinion about it, but um, I'm, you know the show's just getting some flack lately. And so I, I don't always like to say, yeah, my inspiration to become a personal trainer was because of The Biggest Loser. Uh, but it really was. Um, back when it first started, that show was um, very inspiring to me. I mean, there are these people that were very overweight, very unhealthy. Um, you know, their life expectancy was, you know, cut in half because they were so unhealthy. And it was just so inspiring to see um, the trainers. The original trainers were Jillian and Bob. And it was just so cool to see those trainers, you know, helping these people. Essentially, I mean, they kick their butts, they make them puke, they make them pass out, like, and it's all for TV, you know? That's not what I do as a trainer, that's not why I'm a trainer. Um, I don't get joy in making people feel crummy. <laughs> um, I find the joy and the enjoyment um, in helping people, you know, helping people feel better about themselves, helping people um, achieve their goals, and essentially, in some cases, you know, changing somebody's life and saving their life, and that's pretty cool. Um, so that's kind of how I got into the personal training aspect of things. Um, I took my experience from 
sports and performance training and kind of transfer that into how can I help the general population? How can I help people that just want to either be healthy, that want to look better, want to feel better, have self-confidence, um, and just helping people um, essentially change their lives for the better. So after college, I actually didn't start working in the fitness industry right away. Um, I still was exercising and working out for enjoyment and just to stay in good shape. Um, but I started working actually at a chiropractor's office. So I got to work a little bit in the field of um, chiropractic because I kind of thought maybe that was an avenue that I wanted to take. I thought about actually going to chiropractic school. Um, and I worked in the chiropractor's office for about a year or so just to kind of see. And I mean, it was great. I definitely, um, I go to the chiropractor. I definitely believe in chiropractic care, but it just wasn't um, where I wanted to be um, for like a full-time career. After that, I've worked at a couple different gyms. Um, we lived in Grand Forks for a while. For about a year, I worked at a gym up in Grand Forks. And that was really where I started my training career, I guess you could say. And that was a great experience. I mean, I absolutely loved it. I've had so many wonderful clients. I can't even begin to start naming all of them. But that's just the coolest thing about training. That you can impact so many people um, in such a short amount of time. Worked, I've worked at two or three different fitness facilities in the cities, um, Anytime Fitness, and currently at Orange Theory Fitness. Um, and for those of you that don't know what Orange Theory Fitness is, it is a group personal training uh, studio. So Actually, instead of doing one-on-one -on -one training, we work with up to 24 or 36 people at one time. Um, so the coolest thing about training is, I mean, I can't even begin to name all of my clients that I've ever worked with. It's been tens and tens and um, probably hundreds. Actually, it has been hundreds because like today I, I taught four classes and I probably saw over 100 people. Um, and that's just the coolest part to me is that you can just impact so many people's lives in such a short amount of time. Um, and you know, sometimes the gym is the best part of somebody's day. Sometimes that's the 60 minutes of someone's day when they just get to chill, relax, de-stress, and not have to worry about family problems, if there are problems, um, stress at work, um, personal life issues, anything like that. They don't have to worry about that stuff. And it's really cool to be able to be a part of um, something like exercise for that person um could possibly be like I said the best 60 minutes of their day and I get to spend that 60 minutes with them so that's pretty cool um, you know? I started my own personal training business actually in March of 2014 so it'll almost be two years now that I've had it that um, business is called studio five training um so I talk a lot about that um I also post a lot about a, a lot about it on social media um I do have a Facebook and Instagram page um, and Twitter as well for Studio 5 training. Um, so I try to post a little bit about fitness and nutrition and stuff on both of my pages. My training business, I do multiple things. I've added so many things from the beginning. Um, I just started out in the beginning doing online training strictly. Um, it was a way for me to reach out to people that were too far away um, to be able to come and train with me in the gym. And one client in particular had kind of sparked this interest because they lived in Grand Forks and I wanted to continue training them and we really couldn't. So the online thing kind of came from there. So I started out with online training and online nutrition coaching. Detail about that, I'll post a link um, in the description section where you can actually go visit my website and look at all of the program descriptions and kind of see what they're all about. Um, but now I've expanded almost two years later. I'm doing um, still the online training programs, the online nutrition coaching. Uh, but for both of those options, I do self-guided. So I essentially write programs that you can just follow on your own. Coaching help. And then I have another option um, where I do a program for you. and there's coaching involved with it as well. So I help check in with you, um, give you accountability, motivation, and essentially uh, you get that extra that extra step by having me there for you. And I just recently started uh, in gym training, which is awesome. I'm renting some space in Burnsville. Um, it is at a facility called Beyond Personal Training. It's right off of Cliff Road and Highway 13, for those of you that are familiar with the Twin Cities area, so I'm offering one-on-one -on -one in person training and small group training there as well. So it's been great. The past two years um, has been awesome. I've grown my business. I'm really excited about the future and things to come, so that's uh, kind of what I'm working on currently. I also am, at the same time, getting my master's degree. I'm getting my master's in public health. Uh, it's kind of a fallback, which I know maybe isn't the 
best idea to have a master's degree be kind of your fallback option. But I just knew that, you know, if I didn't want to do training someday, um, uh, I didn't have a whole lot of other options with my degree uh, unless I wanted to go on and continue education, which I am. So I'm getting my master's. I'm actually learning a lot of really, really interesting things that I can apply to personal training, um, specifically um, talking about like behavior and psychology and behavior modification, um, uh, program managing, um, things like program evaluation, all sorts of things like that. It's really, really great. Um, Definitely takes a lot of time out of my life to do school and working full time and my training business, but they're all things that I really enjoy and I know it's just going to help um, me become a better trainer and a better person in the long run. So, um, last couple things on the agenda and we'll be done here because I know this is getting kind of long. Last summer, I did my very first... Uh, NPC bikini competition. I have a whole vlog series about that. I think of like 20 some videos actually on my YouTube channel. So if you're interested, you can go back and watch those. Last but not least, I have a couple uh, like New Year's goals that I want to go over. Um, I'm not a huge fan of setting resolutions per se. I think you should be able to set your goals, um, you know, at any point in time during the year. So maybe I didn't come up with these in January. Maybe I came up with them at the end of January, beginning of February whenever and I was thinking you know just add to the list that way then you're just continuously setting goals for yourself and trying to be better not only fitness related but just overall lifestyle goals so a couple things um, that I'm gonna work on this year is um, I'm getting a fitness nutrition specialist certification um, I need to do CEUs or continuing education units in order to keep my training certification and so in order to keep that um, I decided to do another certification for my credits. So this is, like I said, fitness nutrition specialist. So it's really focusing on the nutrition side of training and fitness. Um, so I just started that. That's been very interesting so far. I'm going to share a lot of stuff that I learned from that with you guys as well. And um, that needs to be done middle of March or so. So within the next month, I have to get that finished to get the credit. And um, the big news for this year is that we are actually having a baby. So I'm currently pregnant. Um, I, I just tell people and I just can't stop smiling. Um, I suppose that's probably a good thing. So I'm 15 weeks pregnant currently. I was 15 weeks yesterday. Um, we just announced it to the world. We put it on Facebook so the world knows. Uh, we just announced it to everyone um, this last week in the beginning of the week. So one of my goals going into the new year was to just enjoy the process. Um, it's been, needless to say, a little difficult. I'll be totally honest. Um, just how I wanted to share my competition experience, I do want to share this pregnancy experience with you too. Um, may not necessarily be something that everyone is interested in, but I do want to make it a part of my vlogging because it is going to be a huge part of my life. So needless to say, uh, this process from the beginning of my pregnancy until now has been a little bit challenging, um, especially very mentally challenging for me especially. Um, it's exciting, so there's a lot of emotions. I'm very excited about it. But going from the bikini competition last summer to being in literally the best shape of my life to where I am now, slowly gaining weight, um, that's kind of hard for me to deal with. Uh, so it's just definitely been a, a little bit of a adjustment per se, um, a learning process. Kind of, this video is a lot longer than I, I actually anticipated it to be, so sorry about that. But I plan to go through and talk about my workouts, my nutrition, all of that stuff that has been happening in the last 15 weeks, like I said. And then I hope to do kind of a week by week video blog now that things are progressing farther. I'm almost at month four. And uh, so things will be changing a lot quicker. There's not a whole lot of progress per se as a baby bump goes. Um, it's more of a baby blob. <laughs> but... Um, it's there, it's growing, it's getting bigger, um, and I will put a couple pictures here so you guys can kind of see where I'm at where I was before, baby, um, and then kind of as it has progressed. So, just something fun. If there's anything specific you really want me to go over in these videos that you're interested in, pregnancy related, baby related, or not, just fitness related, anything like that, um, just shoot me a message or a comment below. I will hopefully see you guys soon. Like I said, trying to do something every week or so. 
So we'll see how that goes. Have a great rest of your day. Um, and enjoy your weekend too. It's supposed to be really nice, like 50 degrees here. So pretty stoked about that. We'll catch you guys later.